So, so far we know that a triangle, the angles of a triangle always add up to 180. That's something we've learned so far. So today our goal is let's look at the shapes that are not triangles. So maybe a quadrilateral pentagon, stuff like that. What do those shapes, interior angles, always add up to? So the sum of any polygon's interior angles is always, and we're going to figure this out today. Okay, so let's look at a couple. If we know that each triangle's interior angles add to up add up to 180 degrees, then let's triangulate the polygons with more than three sides and try to find a pattern. So what I mean is I'm going to take this quadrilateral and I'm going to cut it from one corner to the other. And what I did was by doing that, I created two triangles here, one right here and one right here. Okay, and then we can do the same thing with the other shape, with the pentagon here. So, uh, let's triangulate the pentagon. So, what I'm going to do is just pick one corner, doesn't matter what corner, and I'm going to draw all of the other diagonal lines from this corner. So I'm going to draw it to this corner, it's already drawn to this corner, I'll draw it to this corner, and then it's already drawn to the other corner. And then that's it. You don't want to take this and cut it here, then we end up with smaller triangles, and that's not okay. So we just want to make this five-sided shape, and we're going to cut it so that it still is the pentagon, but now we're just dividing it up into three different triangles. Okay, so we have three triangles on this one, and let's write those in here. So there's one two, and three. And so each triangle we know contributes 180 degrees. I was going to grab red here. Each triangle contributes 180 degrees to the total sum, to the total of, of the interior angles. So this is 180 degrees, and this is also 180 degrees. So a quadrilateral, any four-sided shape, when you add up their angles, it's 180 plus 180, so 360. A pentagon, it has three triangles, so 180 plus 180 plus 180, so 180 times 3. Oops, pardon me, 180 times 3. Can't write today. 180 times 3, and that's 540. So every pentagon, every five-sided shape, when you add up the interior angles, they always have to add up to 540 degrees. Okay, let's look at a couple more and see if we can find a pattern here. So a hexagon, we're going to cut this into triangles. I'll take my line tool and I'll cut it here. I'll cut it here. And I'll cut it here. So we have, let's see here, we've got one, two, three, four triangles. So it's going to be 180 degrees times four. So 180 times 4 is 720 degrees. And then a heptagon, this is 7 sides. Let's do the same thing. So I'll start up here, and I'll cut it down to this corner, here, here, and here. And so there we have, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 triangles. So it's going to be 180 times 5. So that is 900 degrees. Now, I might be able to give you a shape, and you could cut it into triangles, and you can figure out that way. But let's look and see if we can find a pattern here. OK, so this is the number of sides of the shape. This is a triangle. There's one triangle, and it's 180 degrees. Then we have a quadrilateral. When we cut it, we got two triangles, and that's 360 degrees. Then we had a pentagon. Three triangles were formed. It's 540 degrees. And then we did the next two. We had a hexagon. Four triangles were formed, 720 degrees. Then a heptagon. Six triangles were formed, 
it would be 900 degrees. So if we look at the next one, we haven't done an octagon, but if we had an octagon, we can kind of see a pattern here. This keeps going up by one, so there would be six triangles formed. And how many degrees would that be? Well, if there's six triangles formed, and they're each 180, it would be six times 180, which is 1,080 degrees. Okay, so um, let's try to figure it out. What if it was any number of sides? So we could maybe say, say it had 53 sides. How many triangles would be formed? So if you notice here, this is three, the number of triangles formed is one. Four sides, two triangles formed. Five sides, three triangles formed. This is always, the number of sides is always two bigger than the number of triangles formed. So if we were going to write this in terms of n, this is always two less than the number of sides, so it would be n minus two. And that would be how many triangles are formed. So then to figure out the sum of the interior angles, if there are n minus two triangles, each triangle contributes 180 degrees, so it would be n minus two times 180. So no matter what the shape, this formula here will always tell us what the sum of the interior angles of that polygon will be. So on the last slide here, this is the key idea. The sum of the interior angles of a polygon is always this formula, where n is the number of sides, n minus 2 times 180. And there you have it. So the polygon sum theorem is this equation. All right.